Marvin, how much are you looking forward to your preseason debut? Saturday? Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to it. I'm really excited, you know, to be able to go out there with the guys. Um, sitting on the sideline, you know, watching last week, you know, it's kind of got a little taste in my mouth of it. But, you know, just being out there with them, you know, all this practicing we've been doing, actually go out there and do it, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. Marvin, what do you think you did to be on first team for both punt returns and kickoff returns, the initial depth chart? Um, basically just going out there, trusting my technique, doing what the coaches are telling me, and just going out there, repping it and showing them every day. I mean, that's all I really can do. All right, how much more comfortable have you gotten the last week and a half or so as you've worked back in there after the injury? Yeah, a lot more comfortable. You know, just adjusting to the speed of the game. You know, everyone out there is smart. You know, it's a whole other ball game than college. So basically just adjusting to the little things, I'd say. Um, Getting more in touch with the playbook, hearing it in the huddle, getting out, getting set, seeing your keys. I mean, that's something I've grown on in the past week and a half. How difficult like has it been to balance the return abilities plus being a receiver? Uh, not difficult at all. I mean, I've done it since high school. did it a lot in college, so it's not that much different. You know, it's kind of what I expected of myself. But, um, you know, just it's, it's another job. You know, it's just more things stacked on each other. So just taking it all in and just trying to do my best with it. How do you feel about your catch up a little bit because of the injuries that you had at the end of the OTAs and start of the year? Uh, not really, not necessarily. You know, I was in meetings, all that stuff, learning the offense. I mean, there's some stuff going out there and running it. I mean, it's a little different. Um, I was able to participate in walkthroughs and different things like that, but I don't feel like I'm playing catch up. With the injury to Tim Patrick, how do you feel about stepping up and perhaps helping fill that void? Yeah, um, it was very unfortunate. You know, Tim was kind of like my big bro in the group. Um, watched everything he did, um, and just to see him go down. I mean, it's very unfortunate, but. Um, you know, if that's my role to step up for him in that role, I mean, I'll do my best to do it. Coach was saying that guys told the young guys to have advocates, you know, and, and to make those kind of defining plays. How do you balance wanting to make the big plays without putting too much pressure on yourself? Yeah, it's just um, kind of just playing the game, you know, taking what the defense gives you in the return game, taking what the coverage gives you. I mean, you do it for long enough, you kind of know pre-picture, post-picture, like what's going to happen, how things are going to play out. So it's just kind of a little bit of that, you know, not doing too much, staying in your lane and basically just doing what's ever in the play. What have you learned from the coaches out here about your return technique, your catching technique, et cetera, to help, et cetera, to help you out? Yeah, it's uh, learned a lot, you know, just from the NFL game to college game, um, you know, with the new kickoff rule. I mean, it's a little bit like college. So that's, um, you know, a little easier for me, of course, just staying to the same rulings. But um, just a lot of tape. I mean, a lot of what they're seeing, what I'm seeing, what I should do, and just playing off of it. I mean, I haven't had that real game experience yet, but just being in the meetings, being in practice, being able to see it and what they're telling me, just trusting it. How much are you picking like? the brains of Jay, Judy, and Corbin Sutton? Uh, a lot, all the time. I mean, our receiver room, they're very, very communicative. I mean, we talk all the time about different looks. Um, Coach Colbert, I mean, he played receiver too in the NFL, so just having him in there is a big help also. So it's just a lot of talking about different looks, why a guy did this versus that, and how you should beat this technique versus that technique. It's really helpful. What's it been like working with Russ? And was that a little bit of a pinch me moment when you first were catching passes from him? Yeah, it's a little weird. You know, um, Russ has been in the league for a while. Um, you know, I'm just turned 21 in March, so be able to be out there on the field with him, it's a little, it's a little weird. But um, you know, just being able to learn from him. I mean, guys, seeing a lot of things, have a lot of different receivers. So whatever he can throw at me, I mean, I'm trying to take it in and apply it to the game as fast as possible. What kind of advice and counsel has Russ given you so far? Yeah, um, basically just like everybody else, just trying to tell me, you know, play your game, you know, play your pace, play at your pace. Um, don't. You know, kind of just get out of yourself. You know, don't think too much. Just go out there, play, be comfortable with it. And then, you know, if something happens, this happens, that happens. I mean, we'll talk through it and go from it. How much time have you spent watching old Saints film and, and looking at their different receivers over the years? I've uh, spent a lot of time watching old Saints film. Um, we watched in the position groups and also, you know, just talking about it, stuff like that. Um, on my own time, I watch it too, just to kind of learn the plays, know, see how those receivers are running it, what they're doing, all that different stuff. and trying to learn from it the best as I can. Are there some receivers that remind you of yourself or that you're like, oh, I can do what uh, um, somebody's doing? Yeah. I mean, not necessarily. I haven't looked at it that deep, but just looking at play yards concepts, stuff like that, positions where I'd be in, just watching it and learning from that. Are you maybe the least surprised of what Sanders is doing out here, Drew? Uh, I'd probably say I might be the least surprised. I mean, playing against him in high school, I've known the type of athlete he is, type of player he is. I mean, he's, gonna be, he's a really good athlete, you know, crazy guy. Um, hated playing against him in high school, but really good. I'm happy to see him out here succeeding. I think, last week, I, think, I think last week you had that, like, Russ rolled out of the pocket. It was kind of an off-schedule play. What's the process of going through what he likes on that sort of situation and finding ways to make yourself available? Yeah, it's a big feel thing, you know, especially on the scramble drill. But, um, you know, just playing off each other, that's kind of what it is. You know, if I didn't do that and I did something else, I mean, we talk about it. Hey, try and do this on this look. And it's, it's a huge field thing. I mean, if you ask a football player, any receiver, they'd say scramble drills is a huge field. I mean, they're coaching us to do certain things too with it, but at the end of the day, we have to make the decision. Has 
anything surprised you about Coach Payton based on like what you've heard or you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, he's more of a kind of chiller dude in practice. I mean, if you make a mistake, there's not much yelling at you. He'll come talk to you, talk to the whole receiver group, tell everybody what was wrong, what he should have done, all that stuff. And I say I wasn't really like surprising, but that's kind of how his coaching style is, and I, I like it. How'd you do with rookie talent tonight? What'd you, what'd you do? How was the reviews? Oh, uh, I think I did good. I mean, I kind of got thrown up there on the hot spot just because I'm the first one up there. But uh, I just sung. I think I was, I was all right. What are you saying? I don't need to worry about all that. <laughs> <laughs> just say, just say your first name. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, guys.